talk about real estate today. Real estate, yeah. Real yeah, estate, too. you know, um, I, in the last two to three weeks, I've been monitoring my timeline. I see people still purchasing houses. Yeah. You know, um, mm. do you think it's a good time for people to purchase houses? Or, no, I mean, it's not. Right now, we're in the middle of the pandemic. I'd say we're about five weeks in. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible time to buy houses. Okay. And you got to look at history, too, Amber. Like, we have... We just had 30 million Americans apply for unemployment. Okay. And then our unemployment rate is around 23% right now. Right. During the Great Depression, our unemployment rate was 25%. You had the stock market crash, then you had housing prices crash during the 1930s, uh, up to 31% peak to trough, you know, from highs to lows during that time. So fast forward to 2008 crisis, when mm -hmm. we had the housing crisis, housing prices had dropped around 18%. Right now in mid-March of this year, 2020, uh, new home sales dropped 20.8 percent month to month over month. That means from month to month, and then 14 uh, percent year over year. That's just off of one month. And we supposed to be on lockdown for another month and a half, potentially more. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll have a cure for this virus until another 18 months to, right, to two right. years. Right, right. They say no vaccine. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what's gonna happen to your comps? Like, the real estate market thrives off of the economy. If, you, if your economy is doing bad, the real estate market is gonna do bad because you can't afford it. Okay. You no know, people, people, people can't apply for homes they can't afford. So not only is it not a good time for people to purchase houses, mm -hmm. but as far as investors. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad time for investors too. I mean, look at Airbnb. Okay. I mean, they lost like one point uh, three tr uh, billion uh, just off this month due to the uh, people backing out because they can't go out of town. You know, uh, wow. travel restrictions and everything. They lost billions of dollars. And you know, a lot of investors was buying homes. And renting them to you know people for Airbnb. That's how a lot of uh, real estate investors are making money too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now they stuck. You know what I mean? Because nobody's going out, nobody's no traveling. traveling. Nope. You know what I mean? So they got a lot of these fees and stuff for cancellation. And I did to see recently, which is good for Airbnb, that they was uh, giving people the cancellation money back. Right. You know I did I mean? see Due that. To the virus. Yep. That was good. So you you gotta realize like during these type of times, you you have to look at history. You know what I mean? They say history don't repeat itself, but damn sure it does rhyme. Right. You know what I mean? So we have to understand that we are facing some some serious times here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We gotta start purchasing stuff that, that, that means something. Yeah, like value. Essentials. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't consider real estate an asset at all? No. Uh, so this is the thing about real estate. You know, uh, as us and our peers, you know, we use real estate as a measure of success. You know what I mean? When mm -hmm. somebody buy a house, they use that as a you know, I've made, I made it. I made it, yeah. Did, I, Absolutely. I, I, I did it. Yep. You know what I mean? Which is good. It's ownership. I agree. But people gotta realize it's a liability. You know what I mean? The only time real estate is an asset is when you buy and you sell it more than what you bought it for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Until then, it's going to be a liability. Right. You know okay. what I mean? So, and then a lot of people don't realize too, they got to have, have money for a rainy day. You know what I mean? Anything go wrong in the house, you got to pay for it. So you can't spend all your money on putting a down payment for the house and not have something for something go wrong. Right. You know what I mean? Especially right now. You got a lot of people, you know, with the CARE Act, they, they made it to where, um, People that have mortgages, they don't, they don't have to pay it up to a year. They right. Forbearance, kind of like your student loan, mm -hmm. but you still got to pay it back. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, and the renters, they they basically, with the CARE Act, they allow renters not to be evicted for the next 90 days. Yeah, no evictions. I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, so. So essentially, is, are we going more into debt? Yeah, of course. The, the Federal Reserve Bank, we now, I think last time we talked, I said it was at $4 trillion. We're now at $6 trillion now as far as the money we've been printing out That's to crazy. keep the economy afloat. Wow. You know what I mean? And, and it, it's a staggering. There's it's no way we keep up with this pace. Like, our not, our debt is the highest in world history at $24 trillion. It's going to be 30 the way we print out money. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before the month's out. Right, so, right, right, right. It's just a bad time to invest in uh, real estate, man. And the thing is, this is why I tell people about gold and silver. Because this is, this is the plan. Gold and silver and real estate are on opposite ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. All right, when gold and silver is up, the housing prices is down, and when housing prices are up, gold and silver is down. Okay, got that's it. why right now you're Not buying the cheapest. You're buying the cheapest asset. Okay. So when when gold and silver skyrockets, due to all this massive money printing printing out, and the housing market crashed yeah. because no jobs are secure right now. Okay. You know what I mean? We have no level of security. So it's like, how can you purchase a house when you don't even know you pay your bills? Mm. You know what I mean? You do need somewhere to stay. But then again, it's like, you gotta eat too. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta have life essentials. So you gotta worry about the price of food inflating, like we talked in the last video, right. about how inflation is gonna hit. So it's like a lot of little factors that people gotta start factoring in to, to, uh, to, so they can know, you know before they purchase the house. Mm -hmm. So currently, if you had like a big idea or a big project on the table, would you mm -hmm. execute it? 
Yeah, it's outside of real estate right okay, now. Okay, so I mean, but I'm talking about in the real estate market. If you had right. a project or something that you were going to execute mm -hmm. um, or had something on the table, I take that back. If you had something on the table, mm -hmm. would you execute it right now if it was in the real estate market? No, I, I just don't think people understand the severity of the times, man. Okay. I really don't think they understand. Like I said, real estate market and jobs go hand in hand. Got we it. are now at one of the worst points in American history. Like mm -hmm. We're going to look back on these days like we didn't even know this was about to happen. You know what I mean? And I like, don't think nobody did. Yeah, it's like we got to hold on. Like we got we got a roller coaster right ahead of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we got to start paying attention and, and stop buying frivolous things. We got to start putting our money to to you know sustaining our wealth. You know what I mean? And and then because really it's the opportunity right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? yeah, we, I agree. we got the greatest opportunity in history to transfer our wealth for our our kids and our generations behind us. Right. You know what I mean? If we do the right thing now. Got it. You know what I mean? We just gotta we just gotta understand and, and get the knowledge, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Freddie Mac, mm -hmm. can you yeah. go in depth with that? So Freddie Mac is basically uh, a, a mortgage lender. It actually packages the mortgages, and they actually got bought by the government during the last housing crisis. Okay. So these people, so when the Federal Reserve print the money, they buy mortgage backed securities, and Freddie Mac is the one who packages them. Okay. They just lost in the first quarter eighty eight percent of their profit, mm. and that was that was like mid February. You know what I mean? That's due to the coronavirus, you know, kicking in and stuff like that. And people kind of foreseeing what's going to happen with the housing market. Mm. So it just goes to show you how the housing market is, is going to get smashed. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is uh, it's part owned by government, meaning it's used with tax dollars. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like they're going to have to probably help build them out again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> it's a lot of different things going on with the houses, man. It's, right. So do you, did you, was this already going on mm -hmm. prior to the to this pandemic or is this something that just took effect yeah. you know in the last five weeks yeah good question i mean so your, your biggest markets in, in the real estate is your largest cities which is new york uh california you know texas and all them but the main two that was having issues with new york and california it was already starting to cool off you had you had people staying in tents in backyards in, in california you know mm. what i mean rent got so high that the state of california put a cap on how much you can charge rent out there wow yeah, and then you know, um, in New York, they was cooling off, uh, and what happened was, they was buying, they was they, the asking price. They was buying twenty to twenty five percent under the asking price. That lets you know that the market was cooling off already. Got it. Okay. You know what I mean? So, and sense. these are the driving factors in, in the national average because they go off the biggest ones. So these are the biggest markets of real estate. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was already happening. So you before. said New York, Houston. Yep, Texas. Texas. All, all the all the all the big states. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it was, it was already happening before Chicago. Chicago. You know, and okay. uh, it's just coming to a head. Like this, this whole pandemic has brought everything to a head. It was already going to happen regardless of the pandemic would have hit or not. It probably just would have happened at a different rate. Right. The pandemic is basically sped it up. So, know? I mean, you've been saying this for a long time now, Jay, yeah. that, it, you know, we had to start preparing ourselves for mm -hmm. this. Did you see it being a virus that would pretty much... I heard about, I heard, I heard some, you know... Some people say that it could be a possible uh, black swan event, you know, okay. uh, a virus that can take it like an Ebola or something. Or this one right here, I, I, I never thought of. Not never, you know right? I mean? Never. Until I seen it happen in China, that's when I seen it get pretty serious. But before this was already going to happen, you know, the, the housing market was already in a bubble. Mm -hmm. It's because the Federal Reserve Bank, when they print the money out, they, they, they buy bonds and they buy mortgage backed securities. Our, our country is a business. So nobody want to invest in a, a business that's, that's running a deficit. Mm -hmm. We hustling backwards. Our country basically hustled backwards. If you put all the businesses together, it's gross domestic product, like we, we losing every year. So nobody wants to buy a bond in a country that's, that's moving like that. Mm -hmm. So we buy our own bonds with the Federal Reserve Bank. They buy bonds and they buy mortgage backed securities. And they send them to these banks. The banks that the ones that got the, these mortgage backed securities and they, they swap them. So when they get the banks the money, the banks are able to invest in what they, what they see fit. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's how the stock market is able to get inflated with prices as well as the real estate market. And now you have what's going on now. You're going to see a big crash in prices and you're going to see people buying houses penny on the dollar. Nationally. Right, 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 right. So do you see the real estate market actually, do you see any growth in the future with it, you know, once this pandemic blows over? During the Great Depression, Amber, it took like 19 years for the housing prices to recover. Mm. So I look at history and measure the future on what happened historically. Got it. You know yes. what I mean? And I think that's what people should do. Right. So it's like when this thing crashes, it's not going to be like a quick switch. 
You know what I mean? They're gonna have to adjust. Like our whole life is surrounded by something we know nothing about. You know I what agree. I'm saying? I agree. Money. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what's money? What is money? You know what? Yeah. We need to do a let's do a challenge. Okay, okay. We're doing a what's we need to do a what's money challenge, man. I want people to ask the smartest people they know or the or they loved ones in their house, because everybody on quarantine. Right. Ask them, uh take do the video, do a live recording, get their honest opinion, I mean honest reaction on what's money. And tag us. Tag organic money. Tag Amber Hurley. Tag yes, Oregon Gold. Yes, absolutely. And tag what's 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 money channel. What's money? Okay. Well, with that being said, well, you being my cousin, if yeah. for those that don't know, Jay mm -hmm. is my cousin, mm -hmm. um, and you've always been formative, you know, mm -hmm. throughout yeah. the years. So, so passion, you would definitely man. be the person I would select, you know, outside of this camera rolling. Yeah. So I have to ask you, Jay, yeah. what is money? I'm gonna tell everybody once they uh, send uh, <laughs> send their send their bills in. Okay, okay. Because so I want to see the reactions. I don't want to get them the answers because that'd be cheating. But no, no, I want to no, see no. I want to see what your real uh, response is. Right. And then maybe on the next video I get a breakdown. We can talk the whole subject about money. I mean, so they've been paying attention. You actually they, told exactly. told us what money was that first episode we got <laughs> yeah, rolling. We did, we did. So if you could just explain the challenge to them one more time, because I really want these people to tune yeah. in and and you know engage with us, because we need y'all feedback too. The money challenge, man. We're gonna start a what's money challenge. You know what I mean? Make sure you ask your loved ones or whoever you're in quarantine with. Break your phone out and say, babe, I got one question to ask. What's money? And record the honest record opinion it. and see what they say and post it and tag us. Tag it's going to be comical, man, because a lot of people, even though we want it, yeah. we spent our whole life surrounded nobody by really, it. Nobody yeah, really knows aware. what it is. Absolutely. I, you know I, I agree mean? with that. So I just want to see people honest reactions. Now, let's get this challenge going, man. Hopefully, we have fun and we'll get educated and learn at the same time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? What is money? Put my family first. Watch out my family back. Organic.